Yep. I separated the the copy prize from the mom. So I put in a separate tub. It's a decent sized tub. And I put the heater because it's the water is so cold. So so once you once the baby freezer came out you have to separate them from the mom and put it in a separate tank or tub so once these fries grew up a little bit i'll transfer to the another tank which uh, i do have for the third three and four weeks copies the baby copies so i'll transfer this baby copies over there and you can see this one these are these are male the orange chickens are male guppies i think they look like a koi guppies and she's the mom for all the guppies you can see they look like tuxedo yep they all look like her dad i believe look like his dad dad is a he's a he's a tuxedo guppy but he died he's no more he died like two three weeks before so sad these are female guppies they just they look exactly like her mom these are like these are like 10 weeks 12 weeks guppies look at that you got two female guppies looks exactly same like her mom see this is her mom so i just separated the tank in a different age group so these are like 10 to 12 weeks guppies and the other tank i got like four three to five weeks guppies and and also i got the new one these are just four days old hi guys Look at this. She's the mom for all this copies. She's the mom. Yeah, we still have uh, 40 copies, baby copies on the next room. Uh, you might see in the last video. So these are male, the orange tails are male. So, so guys, these are the materials that we're using for our fish. So the first one. So once, the so these are the basic common things we use. we need. The first one is the ammonia kit. So if you want to see that, so these are the test kits. You can get it in any pet store or any fish. So usually I got from PetSmart. So so we can use this for both, uh, I think, salt water as well as the, you know, the regular fresh water. So this got ripped off. I don't know what happened. So they do have two strips, the test strips. So once if I can show you that. So, so you can show you one by one so that so this is the strip you can measure it so mm. this is for fresh water ammonia so you can see this is the this one is no ammonia so zero ppm so it has like zero to five but negotiable is like 0 0.50 to 0 0.25 because most of the tanks they do have ammonia but not too harmful for the fishes actually so once you cross the 0 0.50 M, uh, sorry ppm so it is risky for the fishes so this is the you know this is a scale which you can measure the ammonia by ppm so this is for salt water ammonia so if you see both of them so in salt water uh, you have to have like look look at the comparisons that so it starts like uh, if you have a little slight difference but more or less same so can they take this scale yep. so that you can 
use it to measure the ammonia this is a test tube so measure this is the testing kit so they have a mark you can see a 5 ml mark so that's the this is the limit you have to take you have to take the water you have to take the water from the current tank whatever the tank you got take 5 ml of the water 5 ml, 5 ml of the water and yeah. then what do you have to do this yeah that this is one. one ammonia test solution the bottle one this is two and this one is two so we have to use both the solution in a in a different proportion so i'll tell you about that so yeah, let me put it on. so give me a second so make sure we use yeah this is the one see you have to add like uh, eight drops of the bottle one and eight drops of the bottle two and eight drops of the bottle two so these are the proportion eight is to eight proportion you have to use it so and shake well shake well and then keep for five minutes yeah. and then you check okay next next goes the the filter, filter. the replacement filter we sure. use the medium one so so this looks like. so we got the new one recently it got three in a pack no, but so we got two left so this is the medium filter yep. you can put it back okay i'll put it back Yep. So next one is the ammonia water condition. I just told you in the last video. So next one is the ammonia remover. So we use usually once you check the test is like it shows a slight ammonia increase in the water. Put this ammonia and they will have a measurements. If you can read out, they do have a measurements. So it's like the same, the 10 gallon you can put, uh, this is my 10 gallon tank, so you can put like 5 ml. So next we have the brine shrimp, that's a dry worms, but it's a brine shrimp worms. So I usually use that, that's so good, they grew a lot, they grew nicely with this one. And next we have the tropical, the regular flakes for the tropical fishes. For clean water, we can use this, and this is the one I'm using right now. And guys, this is this, not necessary. This is not necessary because yeah. we used to have sick lid before, but they died, and we just we usually we try to feed this too, but in not in a regular way. day. But they will like it. This. So those are the tropical flags. These are the types of tropical flags. No. We no. can use it, and this is a. I sh I think I said you before. These are the fungal infection liquids you can oh. use it and this is a prime water conditioner this is a little bit strong uh, we used before but it doesn't work out so we just kept but for bigger tanks you can use this so they will have an instruction at the back look at the instruction yep guys last but so, least yep it, it, it kind of goes yellow. Yeah, this turned yellow, but it used to be white. Yeah. This color. So, these are the foam we used to for the filters. You can cut it like in a different sizes because this comes in a big two pack. So, you can cut this into small pieces and. Can, can put that filter over here over here mm -hmm. yep so over there you can put that i didn't use the gravel a lot because no, i have a lot of we are gonna change the tank so 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 guys please do use so these are the stuff this is the basic common stuff you guys need you grew the fish so guys i'm going to show you the tank that has three to four weeks
baby fries, A and one is five. Yep, you can see this tank has three to five egg baby guppies. Yep, and we separated the tank. This one, the one with the, the tail, different tail, that was like six weeks, sorry, Don't. more than ten weeks, I believe. No, 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 it's too, too small. Not ten weeks. We yeah, this one. For five weeks. For five weeks. So, it's for five yep. weeks. It's five weeks. This five one. Weeks. Because it's keep fighting with other fishes, so we put that this fish alone in this tank not alone yeah might be yeah there doesn't belong to this age you can see that he's so active so you know so usually you have to separate the fishes in a different tank depends on the age week so so we separated these fishes in a different tank which we show you before it was in a different tank okay guys I will keep update the the new fries growth so we'll see you in the next video yes so thank you guys watch our video and please don't forget to subscribe thank you be safe <laughs>